All right, the next technique is called defensive cross. Now we're going to use open end triangle and this is going to be a defensive move because we're going to block a kick and we're going to pull it in. And we're going to redirect the kick. All right, Tim's going to help us out. He's going to start from a left neutral bow. Now what I want you to do is I want you to step back as the kick's coming in and you're going to go back to six o'clock and you're going to go back to a left forward bow. Now as the kick comes, we're going to catch it we're going to wedge it right in here. But as we do, we're going to pull it off to your left and redirect it. And the reason we're going to do this is going to, it will control his height, it will control the width and the depth at that point. As we pick it up and pull, it also pulls the targets in. The first one being the mastoid, or rather the temple. The second one rolls over and we have a heel palm to the mastoid at this time. Okay, now from here, the right hand cocks back. We're going to kick to the groin and as I plant back, I'm going to use the momentum of the kick planting back to do, sandwich the head and do a lifting back knuckle at this point. Okay, right from here I'm going to go to a cat and kick the lower part of the stomach, keeping bent down and then I'm going to do a right outward crescent kick. That's going to set the head up for the kick, a roundhouse kick. Now that's going to bounce off the ground. That means that when this kick hits, it bounces right back into the target at that point. Okay, let's try it again. We have the block, the heel palm, lower kick, up, and back. Good. Thank you, Tim. Good. I want you to watch me do this by myself. I drop back, I pick up the kick, I pull it off to the left, back knuckle, heel palm, let this hand dangle down, kick to the groin, back knuckle sandwich, cat stance, lower stomach, crescent kick, and then roundhouse kick at that point. Back to your neutral stance.